Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to Playing with Kristen. I am going to be re-reviewing the Day Designer for Blue Sky, which is sold only at Target stores. This is the collaboration that the Day Designer teamed up with the company Blue Sky. They both make their own separate planners, but they teamed up together to create this line for Target. They came out with the line last year. I had a planner from there, which is what when I first got into planning, and I decided to get into the Happy Planner, and then I got this one. Um, earlier this summer when I wanted something that was hourly to do my hourly routine. I did do a review on this plus the Today and To Do. I will link that down below so you can check that out and you can see what the differences are and how I am using them. Um, this one will only be the Day Designer. I will not be reviewing the Today and To Do again. Long story short, I'm not using that planner anymore. What I wanted to use it for was for, you know, my blogging, social media, YouTube, and then I just felt like that was a waste, and I decided I was going to use it for my work schedule. That didn't really work out. So it's just kind of put away right now. The only good thing is that it's not dated. So I can break it out in six months, a year, whatever, and I'll have, and whenever I find something to do with it, I'll have a planner. So um, it's not being used right now, so I am going to focus more on this. Um, I will get into how I was using it before, and I will tell you how I'm using it now. I think that when you completely change the way you use something, you should re-review it. So, um, because you're, you're going to have a different take on it and you're going to have different thoughts on it. So here we are. This is navy blue and white. It has the coil on it, um, or the binding rather. I got this because as many of you know, as I said in many videos, I uh, suffer with BPD, which is borderline personality disorder, depression, and anxiety. And a routine is very, very crucial to me, making sure I'm able to function well. My routine is not always the same every single day. There's times where I switch things up, but I needed I need to have a routine down. So once I'm done with something, what do I do next? What do I do next to make sure I stay on track and I stay productive? So anyway, um, I picked up a Target. I actually saw it in a YouTube video, and I loved how it has the gold corners. I love the binding on here. I wish. It wasn't a dark blue, but, you know, beggars can be choosers. I love that it was, you know, hardback, and I love that it was very sturdy. And that's what you're going to get with Blue Sky. This is definitely a Blue Sky, you know, style planner. So, I picked this up, I think, early. When did I start using this? I'm not exactly sure when I started, when I got this. Oh, it was like the last week of June. So it was like right, maybe, you know, I got this right when all the new planners were coming out and people were switching over to a new planner. So I got it like just in time. If you remember, if you saw my last video, I was writing out my entire routine um, in one sitting, which um, is not what the day designer is for. The day designer is basically for you write out your daily routine every single morning um, and you go from there. So... After writing out this routine, I, you know, I had, you know, blocked some stuff out because it was something I just didn't want to do or I wanted to switch it up or whatever. And so that's when I realized I needed to change some things about how I was using this planner. So this was June 27th through July 4th. And this was um, the next week. And um, I think right here I was still writing out maybe like half the week or a full week or whatever. It was still a pretty full week, and then I would see some things. I'm like, you know what? I don't feel like doing that today. I'll do it tomorrow, whatever. And it was just there. So I knew – I didn't quite know exactly how I was going to go about it. And then this one, I was still kind of doing the same thing. It wasn't until I got maybe to mid-July is when I realized that I was either only going to write that morning when I sat down or I was going to write maybe just two days at a time when I just knew um, – something was going to happen and it wasn't until maybe August when I started um it was like the end of July and then it wasn't until like the end of July is when I got my job um I started a job and so I knew that my routine was going to get switched up quite a bit and how I use this now is I usually sit down the night before or the morning of and I write out my routine. This works a lot better. That way it's not overwhelming. I'm just focusing on this day. I'm not worried about what's going to happen tomorrow or the next day or whatever. So as you can see right here, 
there's a lot of arrows that point to work. You know, if I work, obviously I'm not gonna be doing anything <laughs> at home. So it's just an arrow. I put work on the hour that I'm gonna work and I just put an arrow down because I'm actually, you know, I'm working for the rest of the night so nothing is gonna happen after that. And um, this works out really well. When I do it just the day before or the day of, it, it, it just works a lot better. So, as I've done over here, let's move this over. Over here, I still write out for the week things that need to be done. And I put work, I put my plan with me, and you know, all the stuff I need to do. Um, everything doesn't necessarily get written over here, like meds. I don't need an hour to take meds. I just put over the things I need to do, make sure I take meds every single day. Um, and draft posting it. It's just everything that I need to do throughout the week. That way, when I'm getting ready to plan my day, I'm like, okay, what day is it? I need to do that today or whatever. And that's how um, it usually, that's how I usually still use the to do section over here, which I really love because you can check things off. Um, for the next week, I always write my work schedule, the days that I'm working, and the hours. Because uh, when I'm planning out my week, I like to know what day, you know, I like to have ahead of time what days I'm going to be working and what hours. And so I, I do take advantage of the next week. I do take advantage of the notes section. Um, gratitude that week was when I got a job. So, I mean, if you're going to be grateful for anything, we are for a job. So this was, um, this is the month of August and how I utilize the month. I didn't utilize the month really before, but now I just put my work schedule because to me in my routine, that's the most important thing in my routine, a job. When you have anxiety, BPD and depression, it can be very, very hard to hold down a job. And, you know, right now I'm doing very, very well with doing that. Um, I can't complain. I'm functioning well, which was, you know, the main goal. And so I write down my work schedule in here. And it helps me when I'm planning my day. Okay, what day do I work? You know, even though when I know my work schedule, I pretty ha I have it pretty etched in my, etched in my brain pretty well. So, um... This is, you know, the first week of August. This was last week. And, um, well, two weeks ago, not last week. And you can see that I don't have it completely filled up like I used to have, like, the first week. You know, when I first started using this. Look how full this is. This is a very full thing. And let me tell you, I did everything in this page, you know. But now that I'm working, it's not nearly as full. You know, that's not a bad thing. I'm working. I can't, <laughs> you know, so even though I have from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m., even if I have a day off, it does not necessarily mean that I am. I need to fill up that entire day. It, I just put things down that I need to do, and it gives me an hour to do them. You know, as far as cleaning, it should only take me an hour to clean my house. You know, my house is never just so dirty where it takes me hours and hours to clean. So when I put clean, it takes me an hour. Um... I do put edit video because edit video can take me anywhere between 25-30 minutes depending on what I'm doing a video on. Um, and you know when I put like film videos, sometimes I film two videos in a day. Sometimes I film one, but if I do film and edit, that's usually a good 35-45 minutes. So right here on next week, you know I have my work schedule and I still utilize the to-do. I put tonight and things I need to do when I get off work. So that was, um, you know, the first week of August. And then we have the second week, which was last week. And I was off on the 8th because that was my daughter's birthday. And um, I just put an X. I wasn't even doing anything that day. I was like, whatever. Um, and then right here, I didn't really do anything. I just put when I need to get ready for work, when I need to get ready. The only time I will write something on every, throughout the whole week is when I put work because that's not going to change. That's not going to be moved around. I mean, unless I get a call from my boss saying, can you come an hour later or an hour earlier? That hasn't happened yet. Um, so if it does, I can easily fix that problem. But other than that, I really do not fill this out a week in advance. Um, as you can see, you know, last week I had when I needed to um, film, when I needed to edit some stuff some things for my daughter's school, and my schedule for this week. And this is the week that we're on right here. And as you can see, this is um, this week. Let's, you know, let's move out a little bit. Um, I put get ready for work, and I put an arrow all the way across because this week I pretty much have the same schedule from Tuesday to Friday. It's just, it's five to closing. And 
there was no need for me to write it every single day because it's the same. Um, and then Saturday I work 1 to 10. And then I put, um, you know, 6 o'clock, get Haley up, and 7 o'clock, because they start school tomorrow. <sighs> tomorrow. Um, but by the time you see this, it'll be already starting school, because I'm filming this on the 16th, and it'll be up on the 18th. But anyway, um, then I have, you know, when I pick up my daughter and everything. So a lot of stuff is still empty. You know, I don't know what I'm going to be doing from, you know, 8.30 until 1 o'clock. You know, I know there's going to be some self-care in there. There's going to be, um, you know, now my self-care will be done, you know, in this block because by the time my daughter's got to school, there's going to be homework. There's going to be, all right, signing papers. You guys know if you have kids, there's paperwork that entire first week of school. So I just did arrows. It lets me know what's going on um, and helps me just stay organized and stay productive. And so with me only filling out, um, you know, one day at a time, two at the most, this planner is a lot more useful for me. Um, I don't feel overwhelmed. Like looking at this, I filled I filled all of this out probably Sunday because I just knew these things were going to happen. Like me getting my daughters up at six and seven is never going to change. That's their wake up time. That's, you know, that's when they have to get up for school. That's never going to change. Um, and then filming, you know, today is Tuesday filming. That's when I'm, the time I'm filming. And I started meal prepping earlier. You know, if something changes, that's fine. I, I just knew that was the time I needed. That was the latest I needed to do it. I started doing it like at 9 o'clock. So, you know, I got it out of the way. If things change, it's perfectly fine. Um, that's just for if I start doing, if I haven't done it yet, that's the time I need to start doing it because my meal probably can take a couple hours. But over here on the notes, I do have my work schedule, when my blogs go up, my videos, um, you know, make Alyssa's lunch. And then, you know, next week I put the planner meetup for Michael's and that is how this week looks. I must say, you know, I love this planner before because I needed an hourly planner to help me get my things done in a, you know, a timely fashion to make sure everything is done right. The way I'm using it now is a lot better. You know, I'm using it the way it's intended to be used daily. You know, if you watch my plan with me videos and my happy planner and my recollections, you know that I plan a week out in advance. That's perfectly fine with things that are going on. Um, but for this, it's just a nice change to just sit down and say, okay, I'm only going to fill, fill out Monday right now, Tuesday. And a lot of people do plan this way. A lot of people do, um, you know, planning every single day. And that's perfectly fine. You know, everyone plans differently. And But I love doing it the one day just in this planner. Um, because, you know, with my happy planner, my recollections planner, I have to plan a week in advance, especially with school and my work schedule. I have to do that. Um because if I don't, I will forget. And um, I'm not a person who really remembers um, dates. I remember days. Like, for instance, I'll say, okay, Tuesday through Saturday, I work this time. I don't, if someone tells me, okay, August 18th, I work in this day, I'm like, okay, what day is that? You know, um, I remember dates when it comes to like birthdays, anniversaries, or whatever, when school starts. But as far as days, I don't know. You know, I just know it's Friday. <laughs> I don't, you know, whatever day. So, it really helps me to plan a week in advance of my other plans, but this is a completely different planning system, which I like because it gets me to step out of my comfort zone of planning only a day, and which is why when I first started that plan, I had a week because that was something that I was used to. And, you know, that I hate to get off topic, but that takes me back to my, you know, changing how you plan. You know, when, some, when you change how you plan, some people will not change it because they're so used to the way you did things, and even if it's a Thing they really don't want to do anymore they just throw it in there that's what I had to do I had to change the way I planned for this planner in order for it to work the way it needed to work so yes I want to come on here and re-review this because I completely changed the way I did it it works a lot better this way when I just do one day at a time I don't get so overwhelmed I don't focus on okay well tomorrow at five o'clock I have to do this or tomorrow at four you know I'm worried about just what's happening today and that's all I need to worry about so, yes, um, I hope you did enjoy this video. I really do love this planner. I, I do hope that Day Designer and Blue Sky do team up again for next year because I would love to have another hourly design planner. I know Happy Planner is coming out with some pages. Um, I may get the page to see how it works, but I do like an entire planner. If Mammy ever comes up with an hourly planner, I may try it out versus this and see how it works. But until, the, until I that bridge comes, I will not cross it. So anyway, 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments about anything I didn't mention in this video, um, leave them down below. I will put all the information of where I got this um, at the bottom in the description. Please read the descriptions um, now because I know a lot of times I wasn't putting any like information people were asking me. So from now on, I am going to put where I get things because people just don't know. And um, so, yeah. So I will see you all next time. Bye.